Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Ruka, now is not the time. You'll notice, oh my god, get out of my face. You'll notice, don't boogie boogie the microphone with your face. You'll notice our streak's a little longer. I did two runs on Thursday's NLSS. That'll be April 23rd, 2015's NLSS if you're interested. And they went pretty well. Okay, you're being a cutie, but you gotta go down, alright? HGFD. Aska. Aska my stuff, apparently. Let's do this. This is not set up properly. Gotta get my <laughs> nerdy ass wrist protector in the right position. Let's begin. Is this the way I normally play Isaac? Why do my hands feel like they're in a weird position? You know, jeez. Oh, you know why they feel like they're in a weird position? I've been playing so much Nuclear Throne. I think that that's it. it doesn't feel right to not have my hand on the mouse. Are you kidding me with this catastrophe here? Fine, I'll open it up. You gonna come in, Tomo? Or are you just gonna look around? I got people to entertain here, they're watching me, buddy. This is what pays for your cat food, or at least a certain chunk of it. Anyway, alright. Resume. I'm ready. Okay, this feels more natural, let's do it. Last few runs have gone amazingly. The two runs I did on the NLSS. First one, I like, re-rolled Krampus' head into, a Z or into Brimstone or something like that. Second one I played as Azazel, and just got Brimstone in like the second uh, deal with the devil, so... We've been getting some pretty lucky runs. You might not necessarily want to go back and watch those ones. I mean, I think they're entertaining. But at the same, or by the same token, they're not that exhilarating. Because it's pretty confident or pretty clear early on what's going to happen. Uh, this run might be a little bit different. We didn't necessarily get a stellar item right off the bat. Uh, Spelunker's hat will add up to some extra money, some extra consumables, some extra bombs. but uh, And maybe some extra red hearts if we're lucky. But uh, for now... Not necessarily gonna be calling a guaranteed win or anything here. Let's blow this up. Six pots. Gave us two cents and the swallowed penny trinket. It's not terrible. You know, I I really feel like oh geez, careful. In the early game, you gotta trade whatever you got for whatever you can get. So I took what I can get. She looked at me with those big brown eyes and said, You ain't seen nothing yet. You almost died on the basement, but you ain't seen nothing yet. That was, like, not very... A lot of that was not very good, let's just be honest. Uh, this is not an XL floor, right? Yeah, I didn't ruin my deal with the devil chances. Fucking champion spiders, man. Most annoying. Uh, maybe we can bomb our way into our shop if we get very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Like, here? Here? There we go. And then, okay, thank God we couldn't waste a key. Tomo, you're gonna have to get off of there, buddy. This is getting ridiculous. Normally, I kick the cats out when I'm recording. Oh, such a good get there. But they were, like, taking a nap with Kate, and I walked in, and they're like, Oh, shit, someone's doing something. Get off of the... You're stepping on the laptop, man. And then they followed me in here. There's nothing I can do about it. Look, I love uh, BFF. However, Humbling Bundle is so much more valuable for us from, like, a, a utility standpoint. This room can go fuck itself, also. Um, but I will look for the second secret room. And I will botch it. Let's just make sure we can actually live here. Man, Swallowed Penny plus Humbling Bundle early makes it seem like if we got a Blood Bank, that would just be like the greatest thing ever. Two more keys is nice, too. If we fight the, the Haunts, I gotta be on my game, man. I, I'm not gonna say that I've played amazingly on this floor or anything like that, but... I don't think I've played bad enough to warrant the kind of disaster I'm facing right now. You may hear a slight hissing sound in the background as well. That's the sound of the uh, the shower. It's gonna be one of those episodes, I guess. Just just live with it. Get a little piece of, you know, my life here. I can't act like, like I think these videos are high art, you know. Oh, that's super dangerous, man. We had that one video that was straight up just me bitching about the drilling on the roof, so. I can't really be like, oh, this is my noise environment, but still, I apologize in spite of it. I'm self-conscious about it a little bit. Uh, let's not die here. You shouldn't be taking damage against famine. Gotta kill the fly, man, yeah. Once you kill the flies, you get a lot more space to maneuver. Could throw in a, um, a bomb, but I'm worried that could potentially backfire. Better to just keep it cool like this. And then, I might even re-roll the cube of meat. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'd really need HP. We got Cat of Ninetales, which is better. 
we're not going to get an arcade, but what what worries me is like I could go back to the shop and get some more money or get get some red hearts, but I don't really want to do that because we have to walk through that room that could kill me very very quickly. That room scared the fuck out of me right there. I was scared shitless. But we got a red heart back from it and we'll shoot all this stuff here. N not spawning an arcade sucks big time, but big deal. We'll uh we'll get that handled in the future. I actually took dad's key on that uh on the one brimstone run. So you'll forgive me, but I'm not gonna take Dad's key on this run. I love I love the D6 too much to let it go. At least this early. Maybe later. And that is the quarter, which is pretty stellar. We could use Dad's key to open up all these doors for us, but that you know it's a little annoying, maybe is the way I would describe it. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. We're gonna go back and re-roll Dad's key immediately. I, I love the idea of Sharp Plug. I have not yet gotten into a situation where I have been able to use it effectively, which is to say, it's very useful, I just suck at using it. The body is an enormous pickup for us right here that has me feeling a whole lot better about the way this run is going. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we lucked into anything. Like, you'll, you'll forgive me if people are like, oh, you got so lucky on this run so far. I don't necessarily agree. Uh, hopefully we can get enough bombs. I mean, with Humbling Bundle, I'd expect it. There's one available in the shop as well, but with Humbling Bundle, I'd expect to be able to get into that Isaac's room. And with the body, we can take so many shop items in the black market if it is a black market. And if it's not, it's not. But uh, really what we're holding out hope for here is the deal with the devil, and now that we have the body as well, got a lot of uh, red hearts that we can trade with it. There's two bombs. Tinted Rock sounds nice, but... You know, the Isaac's room is a little rarer. So if we only get two bombs on the whole floor, sure, two tinted rocks, right there. If we get more, if we get three, four, then we'll start talking about Isaac's room. For now, let's not waste any though, let's give it the fairest chance possible. There we go, four bombs. So we can use one right here to get that tinted rock and see what we get. And now we can definitely go back and blow up this other one as well. That's why an early humbling bundle can be so useful. Man, this was such a scary situation. And we're not out of it yet because it's possible our deal with the devil is just going to be shit. But it's, uh, we're definitely going to get a deal with the devil. Unless I fight the world's worst boss or suck incredibly. Um, this is a dirty room, which means that unfortunately those two bombs have kind of gone to waste. And we're not going to pick up anything of particular merit on them. That's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world either way. Sharp plug available in the shop. Bombs, a red heart. We don't need any of those. So yeah, we're good to go. I think we can pretty much set it and forget it on the rest of the floor. Beat the boss. We got that extra damage upgraded from Cat of Nine Tails with the ballsy reroll of... Um, hmm, the ballsy reroll of Ball of Bandages. Ballsy? That was an accident, but it worked out. Another black card there. Actually means I will take the risk of walking over these... Uh, diagonals here and that totally worked out we could pop the hermit early on the next floor if we decide that we don't need to use a reroll right here and then that gives us a little bit more power there or we could save it for a potential boss rush um getting a little ahead of ourselves there but you know those are the options for it depending on your perspective you know don't shoot the messenger all right we turn ourselves around in a big way on this floor and we're just fighting monstro no big deal the definition of no big deal one reroll available so what's our ideal payout here Give me a deal with the devil with three items. Sometimes it's quantity over quality. Not always, but... You know, the more quantity you have, the more literal mathematical chances you have to get some quality out of it. The more quantity you have, the more quality you can get. There we go, that's what I'm trying to get at there. Now, keep you trapped up against the wall. Almost dead, and now dead. DPS. Hmm, pageant boy. Could be persuaded to to take Pageant Boy. In fact, I think I will. I'll take Pageant Boy. Allowing me to buy whatever I want for like the next two floors, as if that was an issue right now anyway. Um, and uh, hopefully we get Lump of Coal here, but if not, we reroll into something else. Book of Belial. It's so good, but I can't, unfortunately. I can, and it would probably lead to a win. But... I'm not gonna. Oh well, that's uh, it, it could have been better. Could have been worse though. Let's go in here, first things first, and hopefully pick up a spirit heart. I don't think that'll count as a deal with the devil precedent because we didn't spend any 
HP to get it, which is actually kind of unfortunate. So Black Candle is going to show us our HP. That's a great pickup. Bogo Bombs, why not at this point? Like, that's going to be ridiculous. I hope that it synergizes with um, Humbling Bundle. So we get whenever we get bombs, we get two drops of two. Every bomb is now going to be four bombs, I hope. If not, I'm not going to, you know, launch an international tribunal or anything like that, but I'll think it's kind of shitty. Two keys is pretty good. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I messed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to walk around the outside when I come back into that room because I, I was pretty sure if there was a toxic cloud, it would have hit us. Kind of thing I mostly wouldn't care about, but let's be safe. Okay, Liberty Cap, health down. Eh, could be worse. It almost could not be worse, but let's put it this way. We can absorb it. So I'm going to roll Liberty Cap because I have no other mapping except for uh, Spelunker's hat right now. Another thing I would like to see in Afterbirth, maybe this is just me that, that has this huge heart on for Liberty Cap, but I would, uh, I would like to see Liberty Cap spawn rate nerfed a little bit. Or maybe just a bigger mushroom pool. I understand the thematic problems with that because, like, you want them to all be mushroom-related items. Liberty Cap is seriously showing up on every run, though. Uh, I like those bombs a lot. Oh, we're going to have rerolls timed perfectly here. Really hoping that we can crank on a deal with the devil a little bit. But if not, so be it. We're going to have a reroll ready to hopefully reroll something into a DPS item. Whatever the hollow gives me. Or just, you know, get a DPS item. There is that. Kind of tempted to just brick it. Lose our last half black card here and, uh, you know, instantly kill the boss. We can definitely afford to absorb it, but at this point, it's already gone on too long. We might as well just finish the job. And then <laughs> get hit at the very, very end and wish that I hadn't wasted my time. There we go. Latch key is fine. Luck upgrade I'll take. We'll get those keys, of course. So we will take Satanic Bible just to ensure that we do have deal with the Devil Precedent now. Plus, we can reroll it into Necronomicon. And we're getting a little ridiculous here. We've taken, like, all the books out of the rotation. More keys. Been to our shop, been to our item room. This is, uh, it's Caves 1, Necropolis 1, Catacombs 1. Sorry, not Necropolis. That one, that was the only one that was literally super wrong there. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it up here. You know, we, we were not, I don't think we're going that slow now. If we want to do boss rush, we will have to make up probably close to a minute. But, uh, I think it's mostly because we were slow in the early game. I don't think we're being super slow relative to the pace of the game now. That was not a good spell of damage right there. And I wouldn't even worry about boss rush that much because I haven't been to the item room. What was I talking about? I'll take uh, Strange Attractor just to be weird. That could potentially ruin our run. Which I I like the thought of because it's strange. But anyway. Um, I, I might not even want to worry about boss rush because I'm going to be thinking about getting... A, uh, an arcade. And if I can get an arcade, I'm going to want an arcade, man. For sure. Even though we don't have Swallowed Penny anymore, we'd still get a ton of cash out of the, uh, out of the blood bank. Are you kidding me? You're not going to give me any bombs? Although, actually, you know what? With, uh, Strange Attractor, we can totally get those now. Like, the bombs included. So, let's go, uh, let's go check that out. And that should allow us to get into both of our rooms here, which is going to be very nice, so... Just suck these out a little bit, faster and faster. That was vaguely sexual in an unintended, unintended way. And we can almost say goodbye to Boss Rush already, actually. I didn't realize. Ah, whoa, we saved, uh, saved some bombs there. Unfortunately, I think BOGO bombs plus Humbling Bundle do not stack together. That's such a minor complaint, but if we're adding things to the list for Ever Afterbirth and they have time, why not? Balls of Steel. Mm. Tears up. That's what I was looking for. Well, telepills. Hoping for an error room. Do we take balls of steel or the hermit card? I think we take balls of steel. And my reasoning for that is that um, the hermit card is going to save us a key. We have 15 already. Apart from that, what do we need the hermit card for? Boss rush? We're not going to make it. It's extremely unlikely. Anyway, down to the next floor. There's our arcade right off the bat. Should allow us to get into the boss trap room as well. Okay, Swallowed Penny would make us, like, straight up King Midas right now. Uh, don't pick that up yet. But I'm glad we got it. And we will open both of these. A again, our reasoning largely at this point comes down to because I can. Why'd you do X Northern Lion when it's suboptimal? Because I can. You know, it's a, it's a cocky attitude to have, but we're in a great situation. 
Um, where, in a way, we can afford to be cocky, at least with respect to our consumables and our HP. And losing that uh, Spirit Heart doesn't matter, because we're going to lose it anyway uh, with uh, picking up the Blood Bag. I will say, Strange Attractor is a pickup that I think is almost, al almost always bad. It's like Tiny Planet. The number of situations in which it's OP are so small relative to the number of situations where it's a piece of shit. POS. Point of sale. However, um, I will say if we get that, I'll be very happy. For example, Ludovico Technique, Shielded Tears, those all make it, uh, those all make it a lot easier on us. A little bit easier on us. Anti-Grav is interesting with this. I mean, that was worth it, I think. We got a lot of consumables out of it. Money's stacked real high again. And there's our blood bag. Could use a speed upgrade here. That'd be something I wouldn't shy away from. And you know what? We will take the left hand. Liberty cap. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I take it all the time. Come on, stay back, man. I, I can't land a bomb. It just can't be done. Uh, yeah, Liberty Cap is fine. And then the one that was like completely random hits. Uh, Liberty Cap's fine, but uh, it's not that interesting. Left Hand provides all sorts of consequences, like, for example, becoming Guppy. But also, you know, teleportations to deals with the devil. Lots more red chests. Come on. Come on. You're giving me friction right now. Ah! The spiders. They hit the spikes immediately, though. Um, not good damage. Three hits right there is solid. Probably two more to take you out. Three more. That's fine. One more now. Oh, two? What the heck? You're way tankier than I thought you would be. Guppy dreams of pavement here, but sadly we uh, didn't really pick up too much of value there. Might be able to bomb our way into a special area over here, though. Mm, or we, I mean, it's a pretty special area. We did pick up two times nine, 18 cents on that room. That was actually a really easy math problem, <laughs> once you distilled it down to its core. If you just looked at it and asked me how many coins there are, I'd be like, I don't know, man. Oh, how many groups are there? Well, there's nine, and they have two cents each. Nine times two. I, I would have probably guessed a lot more than 18 cents, actually, but whatever. It doesn't... Who gives a shit? <laughs> it was 18 cents. It's enough to buy an item from the shop. Luck down. Eh, disappointing. We have yet another library. Now, we have not been to our shop yet, but we have so many books. So, so many books. Why don't we try to reroll them? We've already taken three, and then it'll be five, and this will now be seven books out of the rotation. There can't be many more left, and I'm assuming that we'll come across a shop, and our shop might have uh, rerolls available. This is a situation where it would have been good for me to take Sharp Plug earlier, so that I could turn that into a double item room. The kind of thing that's probably less useful than it is interesting, but so be it. Sissy Longlegs is uh, pretty good, especially if we can get Hive Mind. A little bit overrated because of its the way it looks when it moves, but that's kind of funny. Tears up. Explosive Diarrhea. Well, if there's... Um, the other one was Balls of Steel, so we want to keep that, of course, but we're going to go see if there's like a uh, big mushroomy area. I'm happy with the Tears upgrade regardless. The one kind of caveat with this run right now that makes it so I'm a little bit skeptical about... I wouldn't say skeptical about our chances, but makes me not feel like we're that in a, in that amazing of a position is uh, our DPS is still not that good. Rate of Fire is a little upgraded, Cat of Nine Tails, but you know, we're getting a little long in the game here to be relying on those specifically. So we'll buy the battery for sure. We'll buy everything because we have the money for it, so why wouldn't we? I don't remember the pill, but why not, right? Health down. Probably not. Probably not immediately that useful. Uh, I doubt we're going to be able to get another charge to reroll the library effectively. was kind of hoping it would be the 9 volt in there, but we'll see. We need one more... I don't want to have to buy the battery charge, but we have to. You know, come to come to terms with that one quickly because that's how the math worked out. Because of my reroll, uh, if I want to reroll the boss room deal with the devil, I'm going to have to buy the charge. That's alright. Shit happens. Unless it drops something right there, or... I hoping for skulls, maybe. Alright. Um, we'll take the health down pill in just in case we get something good. I wonder if this guy could drop a battery. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to blow him up. 
Or, let's put it this way. I, I used fucking health down thinking it was explosive diarrhea. Great job! <laughs> it's not super relevant, but it makes me feel like an idiot. I was thinking, you know, explosive diarrhea might allow me to get to him without any bombs. I know we have the Bible active as well. Um, but if it kills him... Sure, the money is money, but uh, if it kills him, that gives me a better deal with the devil chance. Good stuff, I guess. Um, should probably get that balls of steel pill wherever it is. But, for now, small rock. I'm happy. And unfortunately, we used all of our uh, bombs mostly against little chub. Not Got none left for champion chub now. It's alright, though. Our newfound damage is pretty solid. Spiders helping out, not doing a, you know, colossal amount of damage. Helping when they see fit, though. And we do get Torn Photo, which is great. And then a deal with the devil with items. So our health down pill would have been totally good for us, but I can't reroll any of these. It just, it, it's not in the cards, man. This is, this is us right here. That's a win. Oh, but because... Because of a uh, dark, <laughs> because of strange attractor, I should say, we uh, don't get the scythes, so we lose the hitbox, but they should have the same amount of damage. Yeah, that health down bust was pretty stupid, but hey, helps me maintain permanent Polaroid invincibility, possibly. So we got Anarchist Cookbook, Telepathy for Dummies. Uh, I don't think we've seen Monster Man well yet, but apart from that, future libraries are going to be a major target for us to reroll in the future, because they could easily become item rooms. Well, our ideal situation would be like five books on the womb, but I don't even know if a library with five books can spawn if there's not five books in the pool. Let's head down to the next floor. Just a fantastic deal with the devil there, and maybe only something we got because of blowing up that beggar, so... You know, I'm very pleased with that. So I'm. we have piercing shots now. And we have Death's Touch. It's Our damage is going to look deceptively bad. But it should be really, really good. I mean, not quite Brimstone levels. But definitely in the area where you're starting to talk about, like, this is a one run, how can we maximize the fun level, stuff like that. Like, that's how quickly we just steamrolled... Oh, there we go. That's how quickly we just steamrolled um, a mob trap room. It wasn't a boss trap room, but still. That's how quickly we killed a bunch of Zambros. Like, this is, this is a great setup. Eh, what do, what do I want, uh, what do I want counterfeit penny or money for at this point? I'm, I'd almost rather save our bombs because we haven't really had a great track record of, uh, of having as many as I'd like, unfortunately. A lot of people see that as a lazy cop-out, but there's nothing that could be in that poop that would make me that excited. We've got everything we could possibly need. Well, everything we could possibly need, financially speaking, at least. Wouldn't mind having, uh... Again, Shielded Tears, Ludovico, man. That's a great combination at the... At the worst of times. But we're getting into, like, the best of times here. Alright, so we got a reroll and a half. Probably a greed fight. No, 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 no. There's options. Alright, that's pretty solid. Pick up the Spirit Heart just to keep ourselves as high on that as we can. And got enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. And if we get that arcade on the next floor, you know that, you know, <laughs> we're going to get an awful lot of payout out of that, probably. All right. We're basically at the HP cap. Missing our red heart, but apart from that, no big deal. Monstro 2 should not be able to offer up much in his own defense here. Little bit overly cocky to probably try to run underneath him, but it looked cool, you got to admit. All right. Get these flies and spiders in there. Infestation 2 would be an amazing one as well. That's just always amazing, but it would be amazing here as well. Okay, so we'll probably take meat out of that. And... Okay, take Guppy's Paw. Probably convert. Pick this up. Reroll it. Judas' Shadow. It's, it's not good enough yet, and I don't think we'll get the opportunity to come back. I took this basically for the H, or sorry, for the damage upgrade. I understand that it fucks up our permanent Polaroid invincibility, but I'm assuming we'll be able to give it away in the future. And you know what? Because we have a fanny pack, I'm actually going to go kind of hard on the play here. In the hopes of A, getting a payout, yes. Um, but B, 
just getting whatever consumables we can out of fanny pack. And in terms of our HP, we shouldn't be in trouble. And the growth hormones pickup is really, really good there. Again, boss rush is now a little bit of a distant memory in our rear view mirror, but that's okay. We're fast and we're strong and you don't need much more than that. Just a little bit of tankiness will, will take you to the top in rebirth. Very poor damage on my part. Right there. So we still have an item room to visit. We'll get that money on the way back. And we did uh, we did pick up one guppy item, so we'll keep that in mind for the future. Guppy items are going to be placed at a priority because we can do so much with them right now. The flies would do so much, and uh, uh, it's full health, yeah. A decent chance of getting like uh, hive mind, I suppose, as good a chance as is any other shop item. Try these out, just to see if we get cards that we might enjoy. Not really. Nod Leaf. I don't love it, I gotta be honest, but I'll take it. Nod Leaf without uh, anything that really does damage for us is not gonna be too stellar. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get Guppy's Tail anytime soon because we just lost a lot of keys. Well, that's not a good trade for us anymore. Um, yeah, this is alright though. The Tower card, we can do something with it. In the meantime, onwards. And upwards, or downwards, really, to the next floor. No deal with the devil available for us. That's okay. That's okay. Let's do this. Let's get some guppy items. Be strong. I mean, we got nothing to really concern ourselves with right away. The way that we lose this run is the same way you lose a, rot or a lot of runs. You just get, uh, you know, run down. Probably take the magician. Leave the tower. Um, you just get you get beaten down or ground down, however you want to describe it, by the uh, amount of times you take stupid damage. So... We're in pretty much standard protocol for me, which is try to minimize the amount of stupid damage you take. Easier said than done sometimes, but uh, things like that help out a lot. And yeah, let's balls of steel ourselves and uh, then bombs our key back to our original state. Always nice to get the second chance at those. Very, very stupid damage again. It's alright though. This is, like, our tears look so bad, but they do so much thanks to Death's Touch. Lump of coal pickup would be great, but I don't think there's literally any chance for us to get it because we've already had Krampus show up. Um, not really worried about those pennies. Possible I could farm them by standing on the corners of the spikes maybe and waiting for the super big model because of Humbling Bundle to push its way over, but what do we care about two pennies at this point? You know, there's a difference between can and should. It's like wisdom. It's the difference between wisdom and uh, knowledge, right? Knowledge is knowing that a uh, tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. Knowledge is knowing that you can get those pennies. Wisdom is knowing it's not worth your time. One day, perhaps, I will wisen up. Uh, there we go. We are really looking forward to the shop and the item room on this floor. Both of them, potentially big gets for us, but I'm assuming... I had a really strong inkling we'd fight Greed here, honestly. I'm going to purchase Magic Fingers. And then re-roll it. And then we get Pandora's Box, which is Spirit Hearts, so I'll re-roll that. We get a little Baggy, which sucks, so I'll re-roll that. And we get BFF, which helps us not at all. But... <laughs> We went, we've gone so far that it seemed like we had to get it. Okay, that was not a smart little bit of damage there. Uh, I had to get something at the end of that, and that's that's what we got. BFF. It's not bad, but it doesn't affect any of the familiars we've got right now. Hive Mind would have been the, the much better get. But shit happens. That's that's the fun of uh, that's the fun of that. And by the way, yes, I did waste 15 cents by basically buying Magic Fingers first, but. The idea is that you buy it and then whatever items show up, you can get a consumable out of them. It's not a good idea. It's not necessarily a terrible idea. So we still have uh, an item room available to us. I don't know, we seem like we're in a pretty great spot, but... Stranger things have happened than a, than a loss on a run like this, for sure. Even if we don't become Guppy, just an ability to fly would be nice. Not asking for the world here. I mean, they've already given me quite a lot, but... Just, it would be... Just think about it. 
Lately I've been skeptical. I forget the rest of the lyrics. That's rearranged by Limp Biscuit. Probably their magnum opus, if I'm gonna be honest. Um Sweet. The Mitre. Uh, it's a great pickup. Nothing more to say about it than that, honestly. We'll be moving on to the mom fights, and I am ill concerned, honestly. Like we're set up super well. We got a reroll ready for a hopeful deal with the devil. There's options for the next floor. Hopefully we get a non X oh we won't get an XL floor. I just wanna see. Would it will it work? I don't think it'll work. Interesting. Um We shouldn't get an XL floor because we have Black Candle. We picked that up super early in the run. So we should rev if we don't get a deal with the devil here, and even if we do, we should have a really good chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Two guppy items will make us guppy, but I would settle for a uh, brimstone because <laughs> I'm a generous guy. You don't have to give me the ability to fly and spawn fly uh, spawn spawn flyers spawn flies. Oh my god! Just give me uh, the strongest uh, weapon in the game, and we'll call it even. No deal with the devil. That's fine. We'll take the Polaroid and head down to the next floor with this magician card that I don't really know what we're gonna do with, but we have it. Utero 1. I'm feeling down today. Like, I'm feeling pretty good, actually, but we can go down here. We, we're we probably, at this point, looking to get... Uh, man, the Magician can't be better than full health, even if we have no health. <laughs> but, Golden Chest? Oh, Crawl Space! Interesting! And, uh, Bob's Curse. You know what? I don't necessarily think Aquarius is better than Bob's Curse, but we have it. What are you doing climbing the ladder, sissy long legs? Um, yeah, that's it's kind of interesting. I didn't want to waste too many rerolls because we could find our deal with the devil super quickly. Really bad use of, well, everything there. I don't think that was a tinted rock. I think the miter worked out for us. Okay, we have 40 keys and no guppy's tail right now. Let's be honest. This is a pretty good opportunity to play the key beggar that I can't just shove away. Especially with uh, the left hand. We're probably going to need one guppy item at least to show up randomly in a red chest. So this seems like a pretty good chance to make that happen. I, I tried so hard to insulate you, man. I don't know what you want from me. I tried so hard. Got in there. Pushing the bombs away, but they're all coming back because I'm shooting at the same time and it's magnetic. You, you pretty much did it to yourself. Why would you spawn a troll bomb? Like, you had that inside of your body? Maybe it's better that you at least got it out. Anyway, these red chests paying out nicely with the spirit arts, and here we go. Uh, we might be smart to get another uh, full charge, just in case this is our last deal with the devil. It's very likely to be so. Let's check that out. Okay. Um, we might as well, you know, fight some more enemies. We only need to do two more rooms. There's one, and we found the second secret room as a result. Allows us to have two rerolls for our deal with the devil. Hopefully it's not just shit items. That'd be real disappointing. Balls of steel is probably the best thing for us to take here. Pretty... Oh, sorry. What is the freaking cat doing under my feet, you ding dong? You gonna use the scratch pad now? Just go to sleep. You sleep a hundred hours every second anyway. Alright. I, I should apologize to my cat. I gave it a little kick under the desk completely by accident. Stretching my legs. It's probably about the 3,000th time it's happened. You'd think one of us would be smarter by now, but I guess we're both governed by the same primal instincts. To scratch. <laughs> Ruka, you okay, buddy? He's okay. Alright. Mama Gertie. Mama Gertie and we can't fly. Do da, do da, Mama Gertie, we can't fly. Be lenient with the spikes. Be lenient with the goo. Don't be a jerk with the spikes. I don't remember the rest of the song. Big slice of Americana. All right. There's our deal with the devil. Yeah, this is the perfect reroll opportunity because these all suck. We need two guppy items. I'm gonna try for the the Trinity here, but Little Brimstone and Lord of the Pit could be great. I do not regret this decision. However, we can't really I, I regret taking the Eternal Heart, because we can't take Horror of Babylon and really get away with it here, because we're not gonna get Guppy's Paw to show up. So um 
It is what it is. I would have loved to have taken Horde Babylon there. I'm surprised that with nine Deal with the Devil opportunities, we got zero Guppy items. I guess it wasn't meant to be, unless we still find it in the future here. But um, probably could have gotten away with taking, uh, you know, a little Brimstone instead, maybe. And by maybe, I mean, like, absolutely. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah! <sighs> that doesn't help at all, but I got excited for a second. If only there was a way to pick that up, but also, like, put it back down immediately. That's good, though. Our guppy dream is now alive again. Full health, man. Balls of Steel, still a lot better. Magic Mush. Magic... Whoa. Magic Mush. Health up. No. Full health. No. Telepills. Maybe. Balls of Steel, yes. So the guppy dream lives on. All we needed was one guppy item from that nine deal with the devil. That's remarkable that we didn't make it happen. I'm not mad even. Mostly just like I find it funny. You would not expect that. You would expect one or two guppy items at least in nine deals with the devil. I would at least. I'm not running the crunching the numbers on it, but that seems like a reasonable assumption to me. Yeah, cursed skull. That's uh nebulous and also probably meaningless. Thank you. Okay, every red chest is gonna make me uh, freak out here for the rest of the game. That's not good damage. That guy was looking pretty sweet there, gotta admit. Uh, we should get those bombs, but they were in a position I didn't want to F with, so we'll go back for them in just a second here. Ah! Alright, we're done. Fight Mom should be easy. Cathedral should be easy. Chest! That's where things get a little trickier. Very displeased with my damage there. All right, here we go. Spiders and flies. Oh my, oh my. Flyers and size. Oh my, oh my. Describes my diction. In your mother's thesaurus. Not quite as powerful as I would have assumed, but we're doing fine. We'll be heading up to the cathedral and really, really banking on some red chests. Could be in here. We got left hand. Yeah. Okay, two spirit arts. Well worth it though. Um, hmm. We gotta drop the left hand at some point, or we—I mean, we don't. But I think I would be extremely mad at myself if I didn't drop the left hand, so I have a chance of becoming Guppy. The same synergy or transformation we've seen like 400 times, maybe. Instead of giving ourselves a chance to get cooler synergies from the actual golden chests, especially with rerolls, and you know they're gonna be guaranteed items instead of just possible items, so. I would really prefer to have it happen on this floor. If it doesn't, hey, we don't have to be guppy. You don't always have to be guppy. I'm mostly just happy because it looks like we're stretching, you know, our winning streak out yet another game here. At least as of right now, it's looking pretty, pretty likely. And that's amazing, man. Like, we were in such a slump before this. You know what they say, it's always darkest before the dawn. Those people have never stayed up all night. That's not how the sun works. It's uh, It works on an orbit, not just like some kind of binary switch. Um, so they're they're talking out of their assholes basically, but they're, the sentiment is very nice. Okay. Just keep ourselves away from these guys because those bombs, I think they might get attracted to me when I fire them. It just happens. The moon card, uh, we might as well use it like right now, we know where we're gonna be. Not that worried about teleporting like out of a curse room or something. The moon card gives us a bunch of money. Pretty much worthless at this point. That, ah, so bad. That could all change if we get a good uh, Midas touch or money equals power or something like that. Thank you, Gimpy. Gimpy in the clutch there, man. We've got so many good, like, spirit heart generating items. Fanny Pack could do it, with Miter especially. Gimpy. I mean, that's it, but that's that's kind of a lot. <laughs> it's, it's not a little. Even though we only get, like, a, you know, occasional flies, occasional spiders. One fly, one spider is enough to really do a number on an enemy. Maybe not take him out, but, like, do some serious shit. Make them feel bad about themselves. Take their lunch money. Yo, don't take anyone's lunch money. That's fucked up, man. You probably got your own lunch money. If you don't, you take that up with someone, alright? 
That's not the other per person's fault that, you, you know, you don't have lunch money. But taking away someone's ability to eat is fucking... Cafeteria terrorism. They gotta be able to eat to... If... How can you take someone's lunch money away? If you do so, they're not gonna be eat, able to eat. And if they don't eat, they're not gonna be able to study effectively. And if they're not able to study effectively, how are they supposed to found, like, a billion dollar company and then later employ you in some kind of medial position... Sorry, menial position... to fulfill their petty revenge fantasy that has motivated their entire lives, although from the outside it appears to be, uh, you know, from noble purposes. You ever think about that? You're not buying into their narrative, man! That's fucked up. What do you hate a good story? Let's fight Isaac. I'm a little scared, actually. I, I was talking uh, somewhat prematurely about, oh, we're gonna win. It's so obvious. Uh, it's not, actually. We're not doing that, 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 that much damage. As much as I would like to. Um, we're not quite there. But as long as we can avoid taking a lot of damage here, that's the only thing that matters. Then we're down on the chest, and I think this is one of those runs, I haven't talked about this uh, paradigm in a while, but it's one of those runs where we're a lot stronger against the individual enemies, because we can kill them pretty quickly, than we are against uh, the big bosses. Big bosses that are a little tankier, we're not quite as strong. We can't get away with like our piercing shots doubling or tripling our killing power. It would be really nice to pick up some some sweet tier effects or damage bonuses, because as much as we've gotten damage ups, I mean, it's always it never hurts to get more, you know. Good stuff. Probably like one more phase of that. This run would be probably half as difficult. Not that it's super tough now, but it would probably be half as difficult if we had a uh, hive mind instead of BFF, which is hilarious, actually. All right, here comes the chest. I didn't drop the left hand. That's all right. Own it. You gotta own it, man. Fuck it. We're going for full guppy here. Forgot talking. Forgot to drop the left hand. Full health. Luck down. Bombs are key. Full health. Here we go. We're going full guppy now. I made it. That's the. F In my defense, I know this will reignite the, the northern line. Drop the left hand joke. However, this is the first time that's happened in quite some time. <laughs> Save me. Um, full health. Death. Death card's alright. We don't need a full health card. There's no way it could possibly be useful. Save that uh, death card for rooms that have enemies that are not quite so tanky, or at least there's more of them. It does more damage, absolutely. Red chest, dog. Give me that guppy payout. Gotta get that guppy pay. Gotta get that guppy's head. Doesn't really work. I still don't think, like, this is even worth the death card, really. I mean, this shouldn't be all that bad. Someone's gotta go down soon. Surely. The other thing about red chest dropping is that we're gonna have a pretty good shot at getting, uh, spirit hearts. Just one randomly there doesn't hurt either. So if you're just joining us, yes, I forgot to drop the left hand. However, now I'm sticking with the left hand out of stubbornness, but also because I want to become Guppy, and I've already sacrificed my four items. I know I'm going to be sacrificing more by not uh, dropping it, but I've already I've already fucked it up. You might as well never admit your mistakes, always double down. That's my solution for, for managing, you know, health, wealth, and happiness. Um, and that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Oh, I'm admitting my mistake, but I'm saying, you know, we're going to turn our mistake into not a mistake. <laughs> I promise. Maybe. Or maybe this is just my way of gloating. See, we don't fucking... That was a great shot. We don't need the chests. We don't need your fucking chest items. I don't need your handouts. I would like your handouts, though. If you're still... Are you still handing? Because I'm still... Uh, I've got my hand out for your handouts. And I'm fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Man, don't lose the streak by not dropping the left hand. That would just be so sad. Okay, we got lots of rerolls ready. Oh my god. Cat's freaking me out. Cat! What are you doing here, cat? It's the cat's bad luck charms. Yeah, wait till, uh, wait till we get some bombs. There we go. Use the death card effectively there. Come on, balls of steel or spirit hearts? Balls of steel or spirit hearts? Balls of steel or spirit hearts? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, balls of steel. Telepills. Health up. We gotta. 
Balls of steel, yeah! Tears up, yeah! Bombs of key, yeah! Telepills, we'll hold them, for some reason. Good stuff. Tears upgrade pills might end up being the, I'm not gonna say the savior, but a big helper on this run. There's our half heart interval that actually will be very valuable for us. That is, that's not a prisoner trying to, well it is a prisoner trying to break out of my office, but it's, it's a cat, it's a feline prisoner. It's not a human prisoner, just in case you're wondering. What do you, what do you mean, me thinks the lady doth protest too much, what are you talking about? You don't use my own, my own nomenclature against me, yeah, it's not guppy. But it is a lockdown, hi -o. Let's telepills it up, I want an error room. Uh, you know what? Honestly, that's going to save us some time. Thank God. If we got hit there, like preventable, unpreventable damage is fine. Preventable damage is like unacceptable at this point. I'd be real sad. We're going to have to do that big room. There's no way around it. Goop! Oh, guppy dreams. Telepills. Really hoping I was able to skip the big room. No, yeah, just ruin your half heart interval. Why not? Did not, now we gotta do an extra room. And it's not a great one. These enemies get pretty tough to dodge with a strange attractor, it fucks them way up. In like a way that's good for them. Okay, I think we're still, we're still doing fine. Really hope that that would be the room that would drop the items we need. We're still doing fine, but it can go sour so quickly here. Tomo, buddy. Okay, my friend. Hello. Exit the room, Tomo. You have been granted recuse. Ruka, you didn't act in time. I'll be done the run in like two minutes. It's like these cats have no sense of the average length of a Binding of Isaac Rebirth run. Don't they teach you that in the wild? Taking a few more hits than I'd like. Uh, you know, enemies that that charge you, this is not going to come as a surprise, but enemies that charge you are a real pain in the dick when you got the uh, Strange Attractor. Oh, it gives you fucking like a penny or something. We got to reroll. Infestation 2 is too good. Too good. Another another strike for uh, Hive Mind, but whatever. Had to be done. Our spiders are going to be so effective for us, and the more the merrier, man. That Infestation 2 pickup is going to be Stellar like a fucking mid-tier Incubus song. Uh, yeah, go for the hearts. I'll take it. Well, every extra hit might mean the world to me here. Fuck this, fuck this. Man, some invincibility would be nice. Gimpy! Gimpy, my savior! Thank you, Gimpy. Ah, oh, yes! Okay. There we go, there we go. We can do this. I think we got it. Let's be honest, we squandered this run. If we lost this run, that's on us. However, I'm glad that it doesn't look like we're gonna. Even got a decent... That would have been so clutch if that was Guppy right there. Even got a decent spider army coming for me here. Helping me out. I appreciate it. You're very nice. You smart, you loyal. Matter of fact, you a genius. Go buy your mama a house. Say my name, baby. Northern Lion? That's right. Yeah, we got this. I can pretty much stand right in there and not have too much risk of failure happening. Oh, be careful. We have won the day. Little frightening at times, but that's going to push us to 17, I think. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.